Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael here from Miniature Painting and this time we are going to do the base of the Citadel Woods. After priming it black, make sure you use dry bark to paint the wooden part on the base. That's the tree stumps, the branches and everything you can see what could be made of wood. It's also a story about decisions. Now that I started recording this, uh, at least the audio file, to edit it in later, I reminded me myself that I should have gone to the toilet before using or starting the video. On to cold grey for the stones. Just give it a good dry brush. As you have seen many times in my videos how to use the stonework or paint stonework. There you go. When you're done with that, you go to another grey and you already guessed it. Stonewall grey. Yes. The best combination for stone in my opinion. You can get black on cold grey into stone grey. Never use white. That's too white. When you're done with that, do a small touch up on all the branches with dried bark. After that use some Agrax Earth Shade on the branches. I guess this looks fairly familiar to the painting of the woods and that's true because the trees and stumps and everything are going to be done in the same way. So when you're done with that Go with bone white because there are some skulls in there. What else would it be? It's a Game Workshop product. You need some skulls in the bases. There isn't much actually. I did a good search. You can only find two piles. On to Gorthor Brown into Zandri Dust for the dry brushing of the tree stumps. If you want a deeper look into the uh, the way the wood is painted, make sure you check out the uh, the other Citadel Woods video I just made. A couple of days ago so that shouldn't be too far off this video there you go that's the Zandri dust you've got some really mighty damn fine wood I did the skulls too who cares? After you're done with that, let us be making some kind of path. I thought it was too bland, so we are going to make a path through the woods, starting with earth color. Of course, everything is from Vallejo. Then we are going to use some leather brown. We're going to use bone white for the detailing. Try brush yourself a path, but do as I do, stay off the rocks, because that will look way better in a few minutes after you've seen the total result. On to the second color, which is leather brown. And now we're going to the third color, which was the bone white. And there you go, that's your sandy path. Now we are going to do the basing with uh, static grass. Use some static grass, use some tacky glue, and then the Strugras Dose. I'm really fond of that box. I like it a lot. And if you have the option to do it, do it like I do it. Just use small portions in it, but use it in a tray because the Strugras Dose is making a mess of it, as you can see right here. But it's really easy, so just tap it off and continue using it over the whole of the base, except the sandy path. So we're ready. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. Here's the finished pictures. Please subscribe. May the dice be forever in your favor. Bye bye.